All right, welcome back to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. Um, this is the uh, third guitar in the series I'm currently working on. I call this one the uh, Arched Wave or the um, AW3. Um, I should say that my approach to uh, designing and making guitars is uh, quite different than a lot of people's. Um, I basically uh, design my guitars in, on, on the computer with a computer-aided design uh, uh, package. And uh, I, so I sculpt it out in the uh, digital medium, basically. And then once I, um, I like the design I have, I download that uh, information to a uh, uh, computerized milling machine, essentially. And then I, the, the body is, is milled out. Um, I start with a, uh, a laminated uh, a bl a block of, of wood. In this case, um, I, had, uh, I used the mahogany in the middle and ash on the outside. And the intent was to um, allow the mahogany to uh, enhance the sustain of the guitar. So it's a different process than uh, most guitar makers are using today. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it uh, lends itself to the, uh, just the, uh, the beauty and the uh, possibilities that, that you can do with uh, guitars. Um, this guitar, you'll notice, is not painted. Um, I've just I had this one recently. Uh, milled out and uh, my practice is to build it up and make sure everything plays and sounds right and I'll play it here in a second um, but once I um, uh, once I'm assured that it sounds and plays and everything fits right then I uh, disassemble it and have it painted and uh, people ask me why I, I paint them um, and um, I, I tend to uh, agree with the fact that you know wood is a very beautiful uh, material and I like the appearance of wood but one thing I want to be able to do is uh, to isolate the um, the appearance of the the wood from the general geometry of the body, so I'll show you an earlier guitar I did here um, that I had painted, and you can kind of see the effect. Now, this one's actually very similar to the previous one I just showed you, um, kind of the progenitor in a way. But this one was painted in kind of a uh, purple uh, pearlescent, and um, it changes the uh, the approach and the look of the guitar entirely, as you can see. Um, you know, I can always go back to a, uh, a non-painted version, but the intent is to um, to to focus on the uh, the geometry as opposed to the beauty of the wood. So um, let's go back to uh, the first guitar here, and I'll kind of run it through its its rigors. So um, this one's got a uh, single coil in the bridge position, humbucker in the neck position. Um, I tend to favor single coil pickups, but I'm also curious to know and, and understand what um, the humbuckers can do for me. So um, here's a basic uh, clean setting in the, uh, the bridge pickup. It's got um, plenty, of, plenty of twang. Um, I actually have the tone turned down a little bit. Here's all, all the way. So if you're a twang master, a country guy, I mean, it's got t tons of twang. So I, I back it off a little bit. It brings out a little bit more crunch in it. Uh, here's the uh, humbucker. Much more mellow sound as to be expected, being in the neck position. And then I'll put some uh, distortion onto it now. So I'm running this guitar through a uh, Line 6 uh, Pod XT Live Line 6 on the floor here, so I'm uh, Got some pre settings here. This one uh, throws some distortion into it as well as uh, some wah wah. Bridge position, here's the uh, humbucker.
so that's it. Um, I'll uh, when I get it get them painted, I'll come back with uh, another video. But uh, thanks for watching. I'm interested in hearing your comments and uh, questions. Thanks a lot.